Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for March. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of March. So this is being recorded in February. So this is kind of like a preview. So keep in mind that March has not happened yet. So when you watch this reading, I urge you to come back and watch it in March because, I mean, this is kind of like a it's, it's preview, okay? So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just see what comes up. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe. What do we have for Gemini for the month of March? We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Then we're going to use this deck right here. Now, I have to tell you, um, all is not as it seems. Whatever that means, be careful. <laughs> I hate to start out a reading like that, but even whatever comes up, comes up. All is not as it seems. What do we got for Gemini? Oh, boy. Wonderful. So, we all know what this is, right? It's a major new beginning. You've learned something big. You've learned some sort of lesson. Now it's like it's time to start over. Completion. A major completion in your life. You may have just completed one very prominent cycle. Um, yeah, something has ended. Something that was big has ended. And now it's time to start over. It's time to begin that next life lesson. It's time to be begin that next chapter. So you guys have just ended something very um, prominent in your life. Okay, this could be something big okay something big could be a graduation could be um you know someplace you've worked forever that's over could be relationship that was very prominent in your life that is over something something big that was really um really affected you in a huge way done done it's the end of one cycle so something big ending completion it's over it's over time to begin again you know you see the different seasons here okay you guys are about to embark it's almost embark on a whole new a whole new life whatever this is You know that saying, I can't remember exactly what it is about people, some people only stay in your life for a season. And that's what I'm, well, that's where I'm going with this. It's over. It's over. Oh, we gotta do one of these first, right? The lesson that you had to learn from that situation has been learned. Now it's time for your new chapter. It's time to start. It's time to start that new chapter, whatever it is. New destination. Traveling. One more card for Gemini. Taurus got this too. You may be dealing with a Taurus, but whatever this is, it's one contract, one karmic contract, one karmic debt, whatever it is, is being paid off. It is. Now it's like, it, it is, it's time. It's time to um, <laughs> probably work on the next karmic contract that you signed up for. Right? I mean, come on now. You could be, you know, starting a new love, starting a new love contract. Just saying. So what do we got for Gemini? We have a new beginning here. That's for darn sure. One karmic debt, one karmic contract is over, and it's time to begin on the next one for Gemini. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah. So yeah, we got a new beginning here. Taurus had this card too. So I'm not sure if you are dealing with a Taurus, but you could be. Anyhow, this is a passionate new start. You got this new spark. You got this new vision, this new new approach. Or this is somebody new coming into your life that you are highly attracted to. I mean, it could go so many ways, but this is a passionate new beginning here. This is also like rising up. So it's like you got this new fire within you, right? The fire has been lit. My God. So, I, yeah, you know, I don't know. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or something. Or you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. Whatever the case is, it looks... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me just get the rest of these cards here. There may be a new desire to... Uh, go down a new path. I mean, there is definitely a new desire to go down a new path, but there's a fear. There's fear of being abused. So maybe you've been so abused that you're afraid to offer anything to anybody, but it looks like you have a big offer. Maybe you, either you have a big offer coming in and you're too afraid to accept it, or you have a big offer in your hand and you're afraid to give it. It could go either way. Uh, whatever it is, there's a, there's a big, big, big opportunity here because that's a pretty big pentacle. And, you know, there's, there's fear of unhappiness. You know, there's, it's almost like you're trying to block this new beginning because you don't want to get hurt. Damn it. Damn it. Whoo! Justice. Yeah, this is karma. There's a karmic, you know, situation here that I think has just ended. I think there's a karmic cycle, karmic debt that has been paid and that you are now going to get something that you deserve and it's a really big opportunity, but you, you got to, you got to have faith in it, okay? You got to put in effort, you got to allow it, you know, believe, have faith, believe. I feel like you guys don't believe, you don't have faith that, you know, anything good could come and, you know, if you have that mentality, then that's what you're telling the universe, right? You got to change your mentality. You have to be optimistic, right? To get what you deserve, you have to bring balance back to your life and you have to bring balance back to your thoughts and you have to allow yourself to be happy it, it really feels like you're you're really not wanting to put in much effort to communicate perhaps with anybody because maybe you're still hurting even though something has completed you know maybe you've learned some sort of lesson you def this is a karmic lesson so you guys have learned a karmic lesson and you're gonna get some sort of justice for whatever happened but the first step is to not focus on the pain anymore try to try to release the pain okay um, don't let that pain block you, okay? Don't let it hold you down. You know, maybe you just don't have any ambition, you know, to communicate, but you, but it's kind of odd because it's like you have this new desire, right? Or this new partner. Perhaps there's this new attraction, somebody that you're really attracted to, but you're, you're afraid of it. What the hell is this? Huh? Yeah, you're being given an opportunity to start over, Gemini. You are. But you're going to have to let go of that past baggage, right? You're going to have to take a risk and you're going to have to have faith, like I said. Okay? Whatever is happening during this month, I feel like you're going to have to make some sort of decision. You're going to have to make a choice as to whether you want to continue to you know, hold on to that past pain or you want to continue to move forward? Do you want to continue to carry that pain around with you and, and let the, the person that broke you keep their power? Or do you really, 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 really want to finalize this and bring balance back to your life? What's it going to be? Okay, because you have an opportunity to start over in a new direction here. Definitely in a new direction. 
Um, <laughs> this is crazy shit. Okay, this is karma. Justice is karma. Karma contract. Karmic lesson. So you guys have uh, learned one karmic lesson and now, like I said, you're about to embark on the next one. And it does involve a relationship, okay? Because we have this angel of love here. You're being called to have faith. You're being called to trust. You know, it looks like you're probably dealing with somebody who does have good intentions. Somebody new, okay? We have a new uh, spark between you and somebody in which, you know, there's an opportunity for this to be successful and for this to grow into something solid and stable if you can... You know, just allow it. If you can take a risk, if you can take that leap of faith, okay? Um, but I definitely see you guys, you know, from zero, from the world, from the last card to the first card, starting over. Starting over. Starting at zero. Okay? I think that you are being given the opportunity to start at zero in a new relationship. Yes, you are. All you got to do is put in effort. You know, we have we have an opportunity for happiness here, for a extreme bliss, okay? For wish fulfillment. I feel like whoever it is that's coming into your life is going to put in effort. They're going to work hard to make you happy. I feel like somebody is coming in to bring balance to your life. They're to help you bring balance to your life. This person that is coming in is not going to just give up on you. They're a warrior. Don't let your negative thoughts get in the way of something that could be really, really, really good. You have Aries. You have Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. You have, you have Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, you, you may fear, fear, feel or fear that this person isn't going to put in effort, that, you know, this person isn't really going to move forward with you, but I feel like that's a fear. It is a fear. You know, I feel like right now you're not grounded. You may not be seeing things clearly. Maybe you feel like you don't have time. Maybe you're, maybe you've got to work, you know, maybe your job is too important to you or you're working on your money and you're not realizing that there's an opportunity for love here. Or you could be dealing with a person who, in the past, or maybe even now, I don't know, you could be dealing with somebody who's not really focused on love or you were in the past and that's why you're afraid. I think you have a choice between two people. Could be an earth sign and a water sign. <laughs> or a fire sign. Could be anybody, right? We have all the signs here, so it doesn't really matter. But I do feel like you have to, you know, see things differently. Take a new approach. Open yourself up. Be confident. Hold your head up high. Show the world what you're made of. Get out there. Socialize. I think that you guys, so whoever is interested in you, thinks that you are very attractive. 
They see you as being confident. Just because the other person didn't see your worth, I think that we have somebody here that does. I think that we see so we have somebody here that sees that, you know, you have what it takes to be successful. They probably see you as very strong and independent, courageous. They see you as um, having your shit together, whoever this person is that's that's watching you. This person may not be communicating with you right now and they're going they're getting ready to. They may be a little intimidated by you whoever this person is. But I feel like we have somebody here that wants to put in effort to make you happy, but they probably they probably are afraid of you. Um Yeah. I feel like Something is going to be revealed that has been hidden. I, like I said, I think somebody has been afraid to communicate with you. But I feel like, you know, the truth is going to come out soon about how somebody truly feels about you. This person may have been stubborn. Maybe they were focused on everything but love. And now, you know, they realize that, you know... They love you, whoever that is, or they want to have love with you, or they want to have they want to have a relationship with you, or that you know you're the one they want. Whatever the case is, I feel like there's been something hidden behind the scenes. There's been some sort of secrets, and now that's about to be revealed. This person does want to work with you, or they want to put in effort. You know, they see you as wish fulfillment. Um, Whoever this person is, they're not going to they're not going to give up on you. They're not going to be the one that gives up. They're not going to be the one that abused you, put it that way. This person is a warrior. Whoever this person that is coming into your life, they're a leader, okay? And they have a lot of confidence. And it looks like they're coming they're coming. I think that they're being urged. They're being urged to you know, come forth. I think that they have people saying, you know, go do it, go do it, go do it, go, go do it. You know, I think they're talking to their friends or they're talking to their family or they're talking to people and they're being urged to, you know, follow their dreams, go after what they want. So whoever is coming into your life, I think that they are being urged to, to go after you. Um, and they are finding the confidence right now. I think they're in the process of you know, reevaluating. They're in the process of figuring out how they can make something successful. The death card reverse. It's like somebody doesn't want to let go. They don't want something to end. You know. I, I don't know what this is, but you know, you could, this could be somebody that you have dealt with before that doesn't want something to end. Maybe you've decided it's over. You've completed the cycle. You've ended this karmic contract, right? To you, it's over. It's over. And maybe this person has been on the outskirts and they don't want it to be over. Whoever that is. I don't know who that part is for. But I feel like somebody is definitely holding on. They don't they don't want something to end. I mean with that death card reverse, they don't want it to yet they don't want it to yet to end. Now all of a sudden they want to put in effort. They 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 see you as wish fulfillment and they're coming in on their trusty steed to, you know, start over. What the hell is this? Somebody's coming in. Somebody is coming in because they don't they don't they don't want to let you go. Whether that whether it's somebody new or somebody old, somebody doesn't want to let you go. They see they see that you could make them happy. They see that you are stable, solid and secure. They see that you have the 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 golden opportunity in your hand. They see that you are the the one, you know, you're the stability, you're the security, you're the, you're the one that can, you know, 
take care of them. So whoever this person is, I think that somebody is coming in because they see that you are the, you know, the stable situation. You're the you're the stable, solid, practical uh, option. Okay, whoever this person is. You know, I feel like we have a new beginning here. I don't know if it's with somebody old or somebody new. Is this with somebody old or somebody new? Somebody hasn't been happy. Somebody has been in a negative situation hiding the truth. Somebody has been trapped in their own prison. <laughs> oh, God, it's so heavy. It's very, very heavy. It's just like... Now somebody wants to let go of the emptiness. Somebody wants to let go of the mental anguish that they have held on to for so long. It's like they're ready to step outside of their comfort zone because they have been so unhappy. I feel like we have somebody here that you may have ended something with in the past. Maybe you've really ended it and this person sees that you have really ended it and they want a fresh start. So I don't know who this is for. I think whoever you're dealing with is really unhappy that you're not holding on to them anymore, that you have taken a new approach, that perhaps you've relit the fire within you. Maybe you've blocked them. You're like, done, 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 done. And they're like, oh, no, you're not done. I'm not letting you go. So beware, beware. I just feel like... <laughs> Somebody is going to come in with a new approach. You know, they're going to come after you. They, they want you. They don't want to let you go. Um, Gemini, I hope you're ready for this. Um, do we got somebody new or what? Is this somebody new? That's what I want to know. wish fulfillment this is something you so whatever you've been wishing for whether this is somebody new or somebody from the past whichever one you've been wishing for that's what you're going to get okay this is a wish a wish to start over your wish to start over is going to be granted okay it's going to be granted it is okay whatever it is whatever your wish is it's going to be granted so, you know, there's an opportunity to let go of the baggage, to drop the past, and to, to get what you have been wishing for. So I feel like you guys are, are getting something that you have been really, really praying for, whatever it is, whether if it has been somebody from the past or it's somebody new, whichever one it is. This is your wish being granted. So if you have been stuck and you have been in a spot of um, mental turmoil and you haven't felt like you're ever going to get wish fulfillment, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely are going to get wish fulfillment. I mean, we got the two wish fulfillment cards. Whatever you've been wishing for, okay, I mean, it's here. It's here. I feel like somebody is arriving and they're going to put in effort. They want to put in effort. They want to start a, a new beginning with you, okay? Whoever this is, there's an opportunity to start fresh. But where will this lead? Where will this lead? Where will this lead? Looks like it will lead to, to love. I mean, the Five of Cups reversed. 
it will lead to coming out of this dark period. But you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. The the emptiness that you have been feeling will, will dissipate. And love will start to grow. So I really feel as though you guys are gonna start to feel alive again. You are. That period of exhaustion and being alone is just about over. Okay, it is. The worst is over. I see that you guys are going to receive some sort of offer of love. It's what you have been praying for. I th I don't think that you will probably be able to d deny this with this Ace of uh, Wands because the attraction is going to be so big. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I feel as though somebody is coming into your life, whatever, whatever one you've been wishing for, whether it's somebody from the past or somebody new, whatever you've been wishing for, this is wish fulfillment at its finest. So you guys are going to get some sort of wish fulfillment to start over in a new direction. No doubt. No doubt. So we have a major new beginning here. There's a karmic contract involved for sure. Perhaps somebody is, you know, with the justice in the middle, they're going to come through with the truth. In the, in the moon card reverse, it's like the truth is going to be delivered. Whoever is coming towards you is coming with the truth. They aren't lying to you. They're not here to hurt you. They're coming with the truth. Whatever they're, whatever they're saying, it's true. Let's get one of these for Gemini. The pain that you have been going through is just about over. It is. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this one. Um, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So, you know, maybe you got to forgive. Maybe you really, maybe that's the lesson here. We all have life lessons, right? And one of most everybody's life lessons. Everybody has this life lesson to learn, and that is no joke. Forgiveness. Maybe that's what this karmic lesson is about. Maybe that's what it's about. Maybe both people need to learn to forgive. Maybe that's the lesson in this whole scenario. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Forgive. So that you can love again. Okay? Forgive so that you can love again. Because there's an opportunity to love this month. Somebody is coming with an offer. It's a passionate offer. It's a truthful offer. It's an honest offer. And you have an opportunity to start fresh. And it could lead to extreme happiness. It's what you've been wishing for. I think you should take it. But of course that's your that's your call. Good luck.